IDEs for Python, Niels Vallet, Manchester. In short video, we will look at two IDEs. IDEs really means Interactive Development Environment for Python, and specifically for Scientific Python, which are incredibly useful. So let's have a quick look at what we can do by going to all apps and looking at what we've got available under Anaconda. And you can clearly see that there are a number of things available. There's something called Spider, which is the scientific Python development environment. Uh, there are some launcher as well. The other one we definitely will use is Jupyter. Both of these actually make use of IPython, which is a slightly simpler uh, development environment, which you will discuss in many other places. It's really an interactive Python environment. So let's first look at our core idea, which is actually Spider. Spider is the thing we're going to use most. So starting Spider will take us a little time. But in the end, it will open a notebook which looks very much like this. So, if you ever used MATLAB before, or Microsoft C++ or something like that, some of the stuff may look rather familiar to you. I mean, if you look at the top toolbar, you've got this, some standard save and copy and various run options over here. Uh, you've got run, you've got debug options which are clearly going to be incredibly useful and you'll have some alternative options. So you also notice there's three different panes that have opened but actually those panes typically have multiple options because they've got tabs under there as well. So we'll notice over here that we here we've got an editor window which is the main window in which we're going to write our script files at the moment, it just opens a temporary file, that's why it's called temp.py. Uh, then you've got the object inspector which, can, inspector, which can be the variable explorer, which can be the file explorer. Since we have no variables and no files at the moment, there's not that much to see. And the source can either be the console or the editor. Console is often slightly more useful. And there's tutorials as well, which you can click open from over here. So you also notice there's a console window, which has about three different options over there. At the moment, it runs the IPython console. So it actually runs a full instance of IPython, which can be quite useful as well. Uh, but you can also, of course, have an ordinary console, uh, which tells you what it's doing. Uh, I mean, it actually tells me what it's running. And it will also has a history log, so essentially will tell me what changes ha have been made. Actually, realize the history log is actually a Python file it's itself again, and there's some statements about here about all kinds of all kind of wonderful stuff we can set. Now, I'll try to discuss in a separate video, and definitely a web page, which I'm still creating. Uh, how to use Spider in more detail, because Spider is a very, very useful tool indeed. Now, an alternative to Spider, if Spider is a bit too much for you, and in some cases it may be, is actually to use the Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter is much more mathematical-like, and actually is designed specifically to be mathematical-like. So how you start Jupyter? Well, no big surprise, we've already seen it before. We go to Anaconda again, and we now click on Jupyter. And what we want is a Jupyter Notebook. There may be a console as well. I've never used the console, so I don't know how it works, is the honest answer. So what this does, it pops up a file, and that file in a minute will actually 
pop up in the web browser over there and it actually will show me what happens over there. You can clearly see Jupyter, but you can also see, for those of you who know something about web browsers, you may realize it actually runs locally on my computer rather than uh, in multiple times. And the 8889 is because I now got two versions of Jupyter running. And if you actually want to see what it does, so this I can open some game, some files over here. It can play with the files and essentially it could actually look at some of those files. But of course it can also create a notebook and notebooks are Python 2 notebooks. They look like this and this may be fair, fairly familiar for those of you who have used run Mathematica before and for example I can type a Python command over there which is print 99 they hit shift enter to execute it which you clearly will print 99 on output etc etc and there's various things I can do so you can already see you can run cells you can change the type of cells cells can be code or markdown markdown well you may want to look up what markdown is if you don't know it and you can do something with the output and you can insert various things. Uh, you can already see what happens. And this one is very useful if you want to create a document, more like a notebook, more like a Mathematica notebook where all of your calculations are in there. But of course you can st still then save all of them together and modify them uh, to do it. Even though of course at the moment it says there's unsaved changes because I haven't saved this file. Um, I'm not gonna discuss Jupyter in great detail. Uh, I'll mainly expect us to work in Spider because we're going to do some serious programming. But essentially, for those of you who want to play with Jupyter, there's a various good sources on the interweb available that will help you to do this. That's the first introduction to ideas.